So in this time of providing remote learning for students, Schoodle is a really fantastic repository of a range of digital resources that teachers can use to give students access to. So Scoodle has resources around audio resources, photo, video, interactives, um, and they're all curriculum aligned. So if you go to scoodle.edu.au, if you go to the slash about page, you will find some video and information about this. How do you access Scoodle? Okay, so when you're at Scoodle, so either via a Google search, you can click in login and you can log in here. Notice there's a student login and we'll talk about that a bit, bit later. So for teachers, you log in here and make sure that you actually click the CNET login, okay? So, so click CNET. And if you're already logged into your Google um, CDP account, then it will pass you straight through because we've got single sign-on set up. If not, you'll have to log in. So as I said, this is all Australian curriculum aligned. So you can just browse by curriculum. So if you were a geography teacher for year seven to 10, for example, you could jump straight into this category and find resources for your units of work. However, Maybe you want to search for resources for a particular topic. So I'm going to search for Federation. And there is advanced searches as well. But once you do do a basic search, you've got all these filters that you can access. So I'm a stage three teacher in this example. So I can actually click off all the year levels and then just select the years five to six. At the moment, there's 1300 results. But if I apply that filter now, I'll have half of those results. I could then filter it down to different types of resources. So you'll notice all the different types that you've got, interactives, image, videos, collections, teacher resources, even assessment resources. I could filter that, but in this case, let's just leave it at that. How are the students gonna get access to these resources? So if I've had a look at this resource and I could just click into that, view that, so this is a video, view that video and go, yes, that's exactly what I want. Um, but I want to now give the students access to this and I want them to have access to this video and also to this um, uh, other ideas or, or teacher resource um, here as well. Um, maybe it's another video that I want or a collection. Okay, so all I need to do is add this to a learning path. So that's how students get access is via a learning path. Now I can create a new learning path. So I might say um, federation, normally you would say for whatever year group or stage or, or whatever you want to call it, I'm gonna say, and I can create folders to manage all my learning paths. So I might have all my learning paths for a particular topic in a certain folder, but let's just add that to the learning path. Okay, and then I'm going to go down and select um, this image and add that one as well. And I can just select one of the learning paths. It adds it straight away. So now I can see what learning paths I've created. So I'm going to click on the learning path. Here's all my learning paths. And you'll notice some of them have a couple of resources, some have one. I've got a lot of actions I can use on the side to share these out or even as a PDF if I wanted to um, print that for students. But if I click into this resource, you'll notice that there's a pin number and there's a URL that actually includes the pin number. So this is what I can share with the students, either that whole URL or I could share the pin number. So, if I now, I'm going to, because I'm logged in here already, I'm just going to go to my Firefox browser and go to Scoodle. And this is where I would go to, the, you tell the students to go to student login. So 
what was the pin number there that's the pin number i'm just copying that i'm going to go to student login and enter that pin and there you go as a student now i have access to these resources i can click into that and watch that particular video okay there's also a whole range of other things that you can do in terms of creating learning paths um, to annotate them, um, make collaborative paths and all those sort of things. If you want more help in this, so when you go to the help, there's user guides um, and how to use um, Scoodle, there's FAQs. So start exploring how you could use Scoodle to give access to some really rich curriculum aligned resources that would support your, um, your unit.